Are these noticeable? Wait, let me dress up as a rapper. A Serbian film. Your eyes might hurt and it will most certainly disturb you a bit. Still relatively new. Released in 2010. In Serbia, guys, Siberia is somewhere else. And with quite a reputation. Is it exaggerated that this movie shows things far beyond imagination? Well, I'm here for an honest view to see what is true. So let's start with the plot like I always do. The main actor playing a porn star who gave up his porn job is now low on income. And that sucks, but fortunately enough, he has offered a new job that'll bring in the big box. A problem, the new director is a shady guy, who takes his time to convince him of what made him sign the contract, was the money he was promised, even though he didn't know a thing about the project. Now shit hits the fan with little kids on the set, and that's only the beginning of the sickness we get. It escalates pretty fast and they drug him up, so he ends up not remembering anything. But when he wakes up, he finds a tape they shot while he was drugged up, and the shit is pretty raw. Very mindless graphic violence is what I'd say most likely best describes it. Okay, that's a Serbian film. Did you get a grasp of how disturbing it is? Hmm. And I'll admit, this one is pretty out there, but should it be the number one on the list? Well, I doubt that. Don't get me wrong though, I really like this film. I'm just afraid that it might be overhyped a bit. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that to sound tough. Let me try to explain what's in my thoughts. Okay. So the reason for its infamy is a bunch of scenes, and one scene particularly. The way I see it, they just tied the one up, all the other stuff is something so extremely fucked up. Of course, I'm talking about the baby rapist, newborn porn, at least that's the name he gave it. Is that disturbing? <laughs> well, I guess so, but I can think of something worse if I have to. Pure shock value, just still coming at me. I didn't really see any social commentary. I sort of vibe the fact that this a parody on the state of the Serbian film industry, but in the end, it's pure exploitation, just sex and violence and murder and rape. And if you want this stuff, well, it surely delivers. Simply can't deny how disturbing this thing is. What sets this one apart, though, is how well it's made. Nice acting and the look of feel is hella great. Fine lightning and color schemes to set the mood and the sets are good. Yeah, this one is very well produced. And that helps with the overall experience. Yes, I'm being serious when I say this really is a well-made movie, albeit controversial. Just don't watch it if you think Hustle shows the worst stuff. And I don't want to sound pretentious, guys, but when it comes to this stuff, I'm quite desensitized. It's through cinema. And I won't pretend that I know everything the best, because that's a lie. So take this video, or rap just for what it is. Another take on a movie that is popular, among the thrill seekers who want extreme stuff, and believe that they still haven't seen enough. So in the end, what is my conclusion? A Serbian film? Surely it's gruesome. A bit over the top, mostly towards the end. But I still really liked it, that's how tolerant I am. So, is it the most disturbing movie ever? I can't say, but is that something that truly matters? I'd say no, but will it be at least a cult classic? Let me know what you think in the comment section! So, that was that. I know I might have like sort of contradicted myself a couple of times during what I was saying, but it was all for the sake of the art, you know? I mean, otherwise it probably wouldn't have rhymed. <laughs> anyway, it was really just like a one-time thing. I just wanted to try it out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's all for today.